Can you imagine rolling out a solid silver statue of a dragon at a Dungeons and Dragons game? That would be something super special. Now it is possible in small and large. We have here the Draco Dragon from Heads or Tails Coins and Collectibles. Let's have a good close look at two incredibly cool things made of silver. Everybody, Backyard Bullion here, and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's edition of In Focus Friday. Now, you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen my little intro. We are looking at two very cool things made of silver here today, and these are the Heads or Tails Coins Collectibles Draco the Dragons. Very, very happy that these are here safe and sound, really excited for them, and I fell in love with them as soon as I saw them on the Heads or Tails Coins Collectibles Instagram page during their development and had to have one. So, I've purchased these. For myself, with my own money, these are not a gift, these are not free. Uh, I have purchased them and I'm here to give you an open, honest, fair review of these products. I also understand that they are available not only directly from Heads or Tails Coins Collectibles, but also JM Bullion. So if you are a US customer, the best place to go and find these is JM Bullion and you can go and have a look on their website. There's no uh, codes, no affiliate links or anything like that. It's just simply there if you want to look to get it. And for UK customers, the best thing to do, like myself, is to contact Heads or Tails Coins Collectibles directly. And I'll tell you a little bit about that process as we go throughout the video. But first, let's admire the two incredible dragons because let me tell you, I fell in love with these when they first were shared on the Instagram page for Heads and Tails Coins and Collectibles, and I am super impressed with them in the flesh. I have other statues from Heads and Tails Coins and Collectibles too, and I really, really love their work. I think there's some exemplary design, unique kind of uh, niches here which are being explored, and these dragons just spoke to my inner Dungeons and Dragons beast. I had to have them. Could you imagine having a D&D game and rolling out this as a miniature for a silver dragon. I mean, it's so perfect. It's literally solid silver. It's sterling silver rather than uh, 909 silver. And the reason it's sterling is because 909 is far too malleable. It would just, uh, it would bend, it would move around. It would not be good with sterling silver. Even with these long elongated bits of the tail and the horns, it's very, very sturdy, very secure, and it's not bending, which is great. So you can see here some of the particulars on the bottom. So this is 288 grams of 925 silver so just over eight ounces of silver content I've actually got zero 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 as a serial number so I contacted Heads or Tails Coins Collectibles really early on when I saw these and said um, you know, can has must have brilliant yes please and they've sent me their kind of prototype versions the zero zero zeros um, which is incredible so that's super extra special for me and I believe that the big boy dragon Draco the dragon yes yeah, so over a kilo of 925 silver so about 30 ounces of silver content he's zero 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 as well but these are very much going to sit in that kind of long-term collection for me not really something I'm looking to flip or make a profit on immediately and um, they are you know expensive bits of silver I'm not gonna lie you know you guys if you are looking at these as an investment in the metal look elsewhere because they are um, it's eighteen hundred dollars for the uh, basically kilo version so just 30 ounces of this and then the eight ounce, I've got it up here on the screen, is $587. So, you know, expensive pieces of silver, but you can exactly tell why. I mean, goodness me, you are looking at something which has been meticulously designed and created and put together, um, and you just, you know, the mind boggles quite how something like this has been made. Uh, and it really is super, super detailed. Like every element, there is no part that is not detailed. It is absolutely mind blowing how much energy, effort, time, and detailing goes into each and every piece. And in terms of uh, limited availability, they are very limited in terms of their production runs. So the uh, little eight ounce, which is probably the more likely one that most people will look to, to get. I mean, it's nice, it's great, it's brilliant, but it's got nothing on this bad boy here. But there is no doubting that this is a lot more expensive, a big old chunk of change to throw at a piece of silver. Uh, so there are 250 of these little uh, statues here. And there are only 100 of the big Drago dragons here. So really sort of, you know, interesting low mintages on these. I have seen some of their bigger statues have higher runs. Uh, you know, the Britannia big statue had, I think, 999 of them. So this one really is at the lower end. Look at that amount of detail on the back, those horns. Anyway, the, the lower mintage on this really does make it pretty special. Only 100 of these out there. I love the little mountain rock base that it's on as well. 
Um, you can really see this being used in like a big tabletop game uh, for a special occasion. I mean, I know if I was uh, doing a D and D session with live, uh, you know, tabletop stuff, I would perfectly bring out a uh, silver dragon encounter. Um, it's incredible. Now these are uh, like antiqued silver, so it's uh, slightly blackened and things, and you do get a little. Uh, polishing cloth in with all your orders for these because uh, silver of course will tarnish over time and in over time these will go probably a little bit darker as they uh, sort of oxidize and age sterling silver often does it a lot more so you can polish them up quite easily in addition i haven't got it out in the boxes but i was supplied oh that's the wrong thing i'm picking up i was supplied a, uh, a wire metal brush as well uh, i'm not entirely sure what that purpose is for whether that's for taking off some of the sort of tarnishing over time or if I don't know if you want to have a brush finish. Uh, personally, I probably wouldn't use that myself, but I mean, it's nice to have it there as an option. There wasn't really any instructions to go with it or anything. Um, but hey, you know, that is what it is. Uh, there's also a little uh, information booklet here as well to go along with some of the different parts of this particular thing here. So absolutely incredible. You can see I've got the 100 casts and this is 000. Uh, really is an incredible piece from Heads or Tails Coins and Collectibles. I'm, I'm just I'm very, very impressed with it and all of their work. Their Instagram page was the, uh, the key kind of selling point for me. Uh, if you haven't followed them on Instagram, it's well worth doing so because they do have lots of really, really cool updates, uh, not just on the uh, you know finished products, but on their production as well, how they're made, their production uh, process, their design process, 3D designing into the kind of manufacturing, how they're manufactured, uh, as well is I think fascinating so it's a really really cool kind of company to follow and to look at as well just all of the detail is just mesmerizing it really is oh that's a good angle look at that top down from the dragon so yeah I am a big fan I am definitely a big fan uh, as to which one is better it's really interesting I've, I've always said as well like big coins tend to lose a little bit of their detail when they get blown up but I have to say this this big one is is incredible but the um, the fact that they've still managed to get uh, you know a large amount of detail on this particular dragon even in its smaller form if we can get the uh, camera to focus there we go uh, it is still very very impressive you know it's really really intricate every single part of it is just beautiful so good job to heads and tails coins and collectibles I have to say that that's the quintessential angle isn't it look at that there he there he is oh beautiful beautiful indeed so there we have a little bit of a luxury silver item to add to my kind of perma stack to really indulge and enjoy uh, for the next 15 20 30 40 50 years perhaps uh, i don't know if these will ever be looked to be sold but they are there they have this inherent value underneath them of the metal and uh, hopefully one day there will still be this uh, you know, huge return to have them. I do think that the Heads or Tails Coins collectible statues, which include a massive range, by the way. So when you go over to JM Bullion, if you are in the US and you're having a look at this particular one, you'll see all of the other different offerings that they've got. And they have some pretty amazing and special designs that are pretty incredible. So go and check them out. As I said, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just there for you guys. I think they're the, the approved dealer for... Uh, heads or tails coins collectibles in the US and that's the easiest way for US customers to grab hold of them and for anybody else so I haven't talked about the buying process for out, outside of the US so uh, obviously I'm in the UK and in the UK we have the high seas piracy of import taxes to consider when buying anything from abroad uh, and these come shipped from America to the UK uh, now we used a um, HS tariff code. I haven't got the exact number to hand, but I'll put it in the link in the description below, which also includes 5% for collectible items. And this time it went through just fine. It was absolutely, I mean, this is not tax advice. It's not tariff advice, import advice, just telling you what, what heads or tails have used in the past. And it's always worked for me and it worked for me this time. Um, so 5% was the VAT, the import tax that I had to pay on these, uh, which does, you know, make a difference. It's, it's you know, extra money that you have to spend uh, on top of the shipping as well. But, you know, ultimately, these are like hen's teeth and even more so in the UK. So getting them into the UK is not going to be an easy task at all. Uh, 
you know, it's a seamless process. And if you are outside of the US and you want to get hold of these, then the best thing you can do is to get in touch with Heads of Tales Coins Collectibles directly. The link to their website is down in the description below and also their Instagram page. And you can contact them and they'll walk you through the process like they did with me. International banks transfers, easy peasy in this modern 21st century that we live in. So all things told, really happy, uh, you know, really easy process. It was very easy with the shipping as well, tracking the shipping through, I think it was FedEx that I had, or was it? No, it was UPS for me this time. Um, it was really easy with them. Uh, you know, the, the the bill for the import tax came on the day of delivery as well for the with the driver. So it was all done. I had it on the same day, no hanging around in the customs halls and things like that. So um, yeah, all things told, seamless process and a very, very, very good job from Hazel Tales Coins Collectibles. And I would highly recommend them to anybody and uh, of course jay and bullion as well which incidentally is a company that i have used in the past but only to have delivered to people that i know in the us so i can recommend them to a certain extent but uh, i've never used them to deliver directly to me but i believe them to be one of the biggest dealers out there so uh, go and check all of those links out they're down in the description below and let me know your thoughts on this pair of statues because for me they are pretty mad pretty bonkers and wonderful and i love them and they're going to be treasured i think for generations so a big thank you to everybody for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you have you know what to do hit that thumbs up button and share this around through your social media otherwise that's it from me we'll see you on the next one as always please make sure that you like share comment and subscribe for more